Hey everyone, imagine you have an input field like this one and it asks you to enter your answer, which is a number in this case. And you might think, okay, well, there is initial value of zero, so we're going to get the input field, clear it, type 42, because that's the answer, and it should have value of 42. And at first it seems like it works, right? But if you notice, there is a little bit of a flash going on in the input field, it's very fast, but sometimes you can see that there is something wrong with that input. The application might take this input field also and set the initial value, replacing the initial HTML static value of 0, 0. If you look at the code hidden, right now the timeout to set the initial value is 0, so it pretty much immediately grabs the element and sets the value to 777 which is what you see right here. If we comment out the code, then you will see the value set by the app. And so what we have right here is incorrect because this has a race condition, which code executes first. This code that sets the value 77 instead of 00, or the clear command. If we increase this to simulate, you know, JavaScript loading from the server, starting running, then, you know, 100 milliseconds seems to be fine. 150 seems to be fine. Actually, nothing seems to be fine, right? Notice that we cleared, but between clear and type, this set val to 777. And so typing 42 just appended four and two characters. It's very obvious if we increase the timeout to a large value, because then this overrides what we typed. By this time, the test already has finished, so we don't even catch this. All right, so imagine we only have one second, so it's fine. How would we confirm that we are clearing the input field only after application has finished its data load and its input field set? Well, the simplest thing is to confirm that the input value is not the initial 00, zero that application had a chance to set its value. Okay, so let's invoke val because this is a jQuery. And actually, no, let's leave it here. And we can say should not equal 00. zero. And once we've done that, we can grab the input and clear it safely. Right, notice that we waited and waited, right, until it became 77, then we cleared it, and now we can enter 42, and the application will never override it. Well, we don't know the value that the HTML placeholder sets. Maybe it's zero, maybe it's empty. So the way I like doing this would be to say, okay, the input field should have attribute because it's an attribute of HTML node, right? Value. So this gives us initial value. Okay. So now we want to grab the input field again, get its value, and it should not equal, but instead of hard coding zero, 00, we will just say whatever was initial value. Perfect. So even if we change and say minus one, no problem. We got the initial attribute and then waited for application to set something else. And then we can safely clear it and type our answer. Find this recipe and many, many more Cypress examples at my site glebachmundov.com slash Cypress examples. I'll put the link in the description of this video.